Hello again everyone and welcome to our next video in the productivity series. I'm Victor Fitzgerald and I'm going to be walking you through an app called Todoist. Now, just a little disclaimer here for you. I am running Todoist Premium, which is a $25 a year premium bundle. Um, I would highly recommend that you go and do it, especially if you are going to be using Todoist for methods similar to the Eisenhower or getting things done mentality uh, for tracking your to-do list and your inbox. Now that being said, I love Todoist because it allows me to take control of all of the things that I'm doing in my life and manage projects from a wide range of services and inputs and outputs. Now I'm going to go ahead and dive right in and show you some of the features. The first thing is the ability to quickly and easily add a task. So I have the app fired up here. I'm going to go ahead and click the, prep, the plus button, uh, which will allow me to add whatever I want to. So I'm going to make this just a test post, drop it in my inbox. I can set a couple of optional things at that point. Now the first thing is adding a due date and some reminders. So if I want to have a specific reminder pop up in the app, when I select, then I can go ahead and do that. I can add additional labels that I set up and design, um, and that can be for a wide range of things. As you can see, my labels are set up for the Eisenhower method or the Eisenhower matrix. Um, I can set a priority on the items with priority one being the highest, and I can add subtasks if I want to, which uh, basically tab delimitates the app so that you can easily see larger projects and then tasks that have a variety of subtasks underneath it. So now that I've done a test one for you, I'm gonna go ahead and save that so that we can see what it does. Now, I use a number of labels in my life to help simplify things, um, but what you're gonna see is that it's pretty straightforward. Once you have an item in, you can add a notification, which just popped up for me. Um, I can go in and I can schedule it, I can mark it as complete, I can add notes if I want to, I can add reminders, anything like that. I can edit it on the fly um, from within the app itself. Now when we get into labels, labels are things that you want to set up so that you can easily find and manage the tasks across a wide range of areas. Now I've got a lot of blog posts on my plate right now that I'm, I'm working through, uh, so that is where the majority of mine are coming from, but you'll see that a large number of labels will help you filter things out in the future. So what I use is the filter more often than anything else. And the filters allow you to designate specific tasks based on either labels or priorities that you've put in. So my matrix here is based on the Eisenhower matrix uh, with the most urgent and important things at the top, with urgent and not important following that, with the lessening of the urgency as you go down. Now it's not the normal quadrant project management that you see in the Eisenhower matrix, uh, but it does allow you to linear look through all of these tasks and manage them. The real power of Todoist is that it comes with apps for every platform. So you can use it on your iPad, your Mac, your PC, your Android tablet, your Linux computer, whatever it is. There is also a cloud platform, so you can go to todoist.com, log in and sign up with a wide range or manage your to-do lists in sync with everything else. The real reason that I switched from Neo to Todoist is because of the integration with IFTTT, or if this then that, which is a cloud programming language that allows me to set triggers and consequences in apps. So I can add new tasks directly being triggered by other items, uh, which is a fantastic thing and a fantastic integration. If Neo had that feature and the ability to manage my iOS task list, I would be very quickly going back to Neo because I do like the matrix view. Now that being said, I think Todoist is the app that I'm going to be choosing to manage my to-do list from now on. It is a great way to work with other systems. So if you are a system thinker and want a project flow and workflow that will work and integrate with other apps, 
I would highly recommend Todoist rather than any of the other to-do list apps that currently exist. If you have any questions about this review or our review process in general, feel free to leave a comment on this video or join us at victorfitzgerald.com for more information. Thanks for tuning in.